Welcome to a short little video um, that I made up on request. Uh, I was asked by a few people to show how you get the trunk into the um, service position, whatever you want to call it, where the trunk is basically tilted back and then but also opened at the same time. <laughs> What you need to do for that is basically uh, get in the car, ignition on, engine on, whatever you prefer. Um, I think technically recommended is engine on, but anyway, what you need to do is operate the roof to the point where the trunk falls back and then stop it basically like this, roof up, trunk opens and let go. Leave it right there. Now, Gonna have to fiddle a bit, so I'm gonna bring you in closer. In here, we're going in. Oh, let me find a nicer spot, roughly this. Yes, maybe I can adjust it so you can see both sides. Uh, come on, almost. There we go, more or less. Okay, so in here. You have these two latches left and right and all you need to do is push this hook back and lift it up so it goes under there and then you do the same thing over here don't bang your head anywhere and that's what i like to do reach in there unlatch the hook just push it back it's really no resistance and there you go you now have well, whatever you want to call it, service position, transformer. Oh, actually, yes, yeah, let's zoom out so you can actually see this. Yeah, as you can see, this is now in both ways open. It's really helpful to uh, get to seals, to linkage. Um, this is the hooks that we just pushed back. As you can see, they really don't have any resistance. They're just lightly sprung. Um, it's really nice to get to all these seals here. Um, it's at the same time you can get to this. Um, what else? This mechanism, if you need to adjust these flaps here, or if something pops out here. Um, same for these flaps, obviously, now that it's in this position. Oh, and if you don't want the roof to complain in a minute, ignition, turn it off, take the key out. Because now it should prevent the pump from having a timer running that uh, tells it panic, panic, I'm overheating or anything in a couple of minutes, which then gets you an error message on the display, pump overheating or roof mechanism overheating, which might cause some unwanted panic. But don't worry, just turn it off, leave it alone for five minutes, turn it back on, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, while you're in here, you can basically access anything you want, like the flaps, um, the cables for the flaps, what I did in the last video, but cost me all the time and patience. You can get to the roof bits here, um, to the seals here, here, everything basically. And um, you can still get to anything in the trunk here, especially if you want to work around here. These little plastic clips here in here, um, these are like oval holes, ports. That's the things I showed in the last video that line up with the pegs here. That's how you get to those really easily. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just sometimes convenient to have it like that. And uh, to close it again, should be quite obvious, uh, you just lower it back down and then bang your head like I just warned you earlier, find that hook again, open it up, push it down the trunk a bit, latch it back in. I'm gonna show you on the other side, it's really, really easy. Okay, now you can actually see it. So, go in here, push this, lift this up a little bit so that Push it in, push it back down, make sure it's all the way down, both sides. That's it, now you just close the roof again. And um, that's how you get that into this position. <laughs> 